Welcome one and all to another Fight Pit Fridays tournament, this time in Syrifungal. Our first match is Luger the Tricky up against Crush the Wicked. If you're eager to die, I'll oblige. Looks like another maggot can't wait to be my next victim. Alright, both of them are Caragor Riders, so we'll have to see which one gets dismounted first. And it looks like Crush might be... Oh, oh, actually, it's quite even. Nope, Crush is the first one to fall down. However, yeah, he's got a gang on his side. So, Luger kind of needs to get up if he's going to hope to survive. He's going to be relying on his poison weapon and accurate shots to get through. Otherwise, yeah, Crush can deal the most damage up close. So, oh, I say that. Yeah. Luger the Tricky is a trickster, so could throw in some unconventional tactics here. If he gets a nice smoke bomb down too, he can make a bit of range. And hopefully stop the hunters that Crush has from taking him down. And that poison damage is really doing the work. Yeah, oh, I think Luger's going to take this. Crush doesn't stand a chance. The poison's just going to eat up him. Yep. Luger the Tricky is the first victor in the quarterfinals. Now for our second match, Cougar the Punisher up against Tars Metalbeard. What a strong specimen! I wonder what your insides look like. Come on, man! Unless you're a coward. Now, Cougar's gonna have to rely on, oh yeah, getting him down nice and quickly. Because Tars has numbers on his side. And if he lets himself get overwhelmed, then things could go very poorly for him. As it is, Cougar can deal a lot of damage, but he needs to, yeah, stop getting attacked so much by the others. Okay, he's got the Caragor down, which is a good sign. As long as he doesn't let the Warriors distract him too much, he should be able to take this. Being a slayer means he's great at frontline fighting. Oh, Warrior's starting to get attacks in, but I think it's too late. Although, it's starting to even up a bit. Yeah, it's very, very close now. Tars Metalbeard is not going to go down without a fight. Oh, but he's one hit away. Cougar should have this. He, oh, he just needs to get that one more hit in. Yep, there we go. Nice slash. And Cougar the Punisher goes through to the next round. On to our next match, Zuka Fear Eater versus Borgu the Merciless. This is where your journey ends. You're going to be my next victim! Now both these orcs have cursed weaponry on their side. Yeah, it looks like Zuka's not doing too badly what with having all of his savages. They'll be able to, yeah, take down those archers with ease as long as they can close the distance. Yeah, Bolgu the Merciless though, he's nice and agile so as long as he's able to dodge the attacks he'll be fine. Oh, but dodging an enraged enemy is not easy and a flurry of attacks will stop him. Oh, these slayers need to distract the attention. Oh, this is bad. This is going very badly for him. Yep. Zuka Fear Eater just slaughtered Borgu the Merciless there. Now on to the final match of the quarterfiles. Grom Shaman versus Booble the Vile. Are you an ugly one? I always have to fight the ugly one. Who wants to become a beautiful corpse? Now Grom's severely outnumbered here, so he's going to have to focus on getting some distance, and that was a good way to do it, although it's just put him in the middle of a bunch of defenders. Alright, he's... These are slightly unconventional tactics, and they don't appear to be working too well, because he's done almost no damage, and is now in the middle of a whole bunch of spears. Yeah, he's kind of cornered himself here. There's now a shield wall all around him, which is going to prevent him from getting anywhere. Although that throw gives him a bit of room to move, yep, he can back up now and start pelting with arrows. He's a marksman, so he needs to focus on range. Oh, 
They're both... Oh, both using the... Wow. They're really going for the Mystic Blades there. That's not something you see used too often, but it works well for getting them around. Oh, yeah, this is going to be a very one-sided fight, though. Booble has got this. There's no way Grom's surviving. Yep. There we go. We get a nice finisher now. Split right in half. Booble the Vile takes it. And that was the final match of the quarterfinals. Make sure to tune in next week for the semi-finals.